Welcome to module number five of our 12 module program, which is all about the WOW Manifesto Client Attraction Program, as if you needed to be told that. Uh, this uh, number five is all about being outrageously different online. And as I said to you at the end of module four, that is my nice way of saying, fix your awful website. Now, you might be the exception. You might be sitting there going, well, I do not have a, an awful website. In fact, it's uh, converting quite well. Well, if that's the case, that's great. But if it's not converting well, then there's a good chance you're spending a lot of time and money on SEO or maybe pay-per-click advertising on Facebook or Instagram or maybe even in the offline world, you're driving traffic to your website, but it's not converting. And so therefore, basically, you're wasting a lot of time and a lot of money because if your website is not properly designed, and it doesn't have the direct response components that I'm going to show you in just a moment, there's a good chance you're wasting time and money bringing traffic to your website and they're not buying. So let me take you through the things that I think you need to consider when you are putting together a website. Now, first of all, I'm just reiterating there that uh, your website is your director of first impressions. Okay, now it used to be Susie who answered the phone, hello, ABC accountancy or whatever it may have been. She's now being relegated to number two. Your director of first impressions is, of course, your website. And, of course, it's the home page. If I was to ask you, what was the most important page of a magazine, whether it's a woman's magazine or whether it's a TV magazine or architectural magazine or whatever, I'm guessing you would say, well, thank you, JD, what a stupid question. The most important page of any publication is, of course, the front page. So if I said to you, well, what was the most important page of your website? You would say the home page. Well, you wouldn't know it when you look at a lot of businesses' home page. In fact, I guess eight out of 10 that I look at have got an awful home page. And as I said to you at the end of module number four, the last person that you want to go to to design a website for you is a website designer. Now, I know that if there's any website designers watching me right now, you're wanting to jump through your tablet or your iPhone or your computer and stab me in the eye with a pencil because I've just given you a hard time. And you, you again, might be an exception. But, you know, for the most part, um, website designers that I've met, and I've met lots of them, are uh, artists, they're graphic artists and you know they have technical skills online these days to put together a website but they're creatives and so therefore they might be very good at putting together a good looking website and it might have the tonality and the brand persona that suits you but it's still not designed in a way that's going to capture sales and so therefore the person that you need to speak to when you're putting together, together a website is someone who understands marketing, preferably someone who understands direct response marketing. Oh, am I pointing to me? I'm sorry. Uh, so therefore, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you through now the sorts of components that you need on your homepage to keep people sticky, because once you've got them sticky on your homepage, you can send them off to your various sub pages. It's very, very easy. OK, so let me just run through this. Um, the, the point is, is that you want to cut to the chase. I've got here. So make the right impression by cutting to the chase and solving your visitors problem right up front. Remember, they've come to your website because they've either Googled and you've come up in SEO or they've reacted to one of your PPC, pay-per-click ads, and they've come through to your website. The whole idea is, is that once they're there, you've got to say to them straight up front, I understand your problem. I do. I understand your problem. So therefore, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give you the solutions to your problems. Okay. Now, let me actually take you through to a layout of a page that I put together for you so you get the feeling on this. Let me just come that back. Okay. So therefore, you'll see on the screen here, I'm going to go through those components that I've just taken you through. And I've just get this up very, very quickly before our... Uh, our video so therefore please don't take the drawing skills literally here this was just a quick sketch but you'll see here that I'm suggesting that on the web page you'd put your you know your ID and your logo typical normally on the top left hand corner please put your phone number up here don't hide your phone number down the base of the page where they are scrolling and scrolling and scrolling to eventually find your phone number why because if there's someone who's come onto your website and they're warm or they're hot because they've had a you know, recommendation from someone else or they've just searched you out and said, yeah, this is the place I want to deal with, let them find your contact detail as in your phone number right up front. And likewise, you'd probably put your email address there as well, info at or whatever it may be, sales at. So therefore, if you've got any social media um, sort of you know, direct links like Facebook and Instagram and so forth, there's no problem in putting those you know, sort of links up here as well. You've got your menu bar there. There's nothing particularly new about that. Um, here's the problem solution thing. So for example, in my instance on the Institute of WOW, I think my one says something like, if your sales are flatlined and you're after killer, 
marketing uh, concept or marketing strategy, then you're at the right place. And then I will have a uh, explainer video there. So this is the explainer video. It can be in the middle of the page. It can be on that side or that side. Please don't take this literally. This is just a quick sketch to show you the menu sort of uh, platform of how you can put together a pretty engaging homepage. Then after this, and we keep in, when you look at this, by the way, and, and, and any website designer will tell you this, with responsive design websites these days, which means that it's suitable for smartphones or tablets or PCs or you know, um, your computer at home. It's just panel after panel after panel after panel. So what you've got to decide is, well, what's the most important panel? Because normally it would go up front. The second most important panel would be number two, the third most important, and so on. Okay, now you may decide that you want to swap this around and that your menu, like this is the Macca's menu down here, might come up number two. And if you feel that's the case, then that's fine. But please just make sure that you've got these components on your homepage. Now, if you said to me, well, where would the fold be? Because the most important part of your website is above the fold. And the fold is normally, if that was my computer screen here, the fold would be there. Okay, so therefore, if this was opening up a website right now, I would probably be seeing around about up to there before the fold. I'd be seeing the problem solution or benefit driven headline and maybe the explainer video and maybe most of the free report invitation. And then you would scroll. So therefore, this particular homepage here might scroll two or three, maybe even four computer screens. Now, I know that you might be sitting there going, well, with smartphones these days, the stuff being really, really good above the fold is not as important as it used to be when we were just looking on, you know, laptops, computers. Well, no, that might be the case. But still, nearly half of all websites are being looked at. And depending upon what date you're looking at this, it may, you know, sort of the, the inroads of iPhones, maybe even more now. But in a lot of the cases, you're going to find 40 to 50 percent of people might be looking at your website on a PC on a computer, so that really important thing about keeping all your good stuff above the fold is important. So therefore, um, yeah, the next panel would be the free report, and normally it's the three biggest mistakes or the three biggest lies or the three biggest whatever, so that it's somewhat provocative and it's going to get, take, for example, if I was a kitchen renovator, an Italian kitchen renovator, and I used this, I know, in one of my previous modules, but let's just say I was into renovating kitchens for people, and I was upmarket Italian you know, uh, kitchen reno uh, uh, renovator, and I was dealing with granite and all sorts of stuff, marble and all sorts of stuff for kitchen benches. I think what I would do is I know they're coming onto my website because they're interested in renovating the kitchen with an upmarket look. Don't you think my free report would be a free report, the three biggest lies that most kitchen renovators tell you about that granite bench top? Hint, hint, it's not really from Italy. I bet you it's from China. Now, the moment I've cast that doubt in someone's mind and they're on my website for one reason only because they're interested in renovating their kitchen do you think they're going to download going to download that free report of course they will and the moment they download that then within an hour i'm smsing uh, or i'm ringing them to say how can i help you which will freak them out because they'll forget that they've given me their details really really easy okay so that's collecting data the three biggest benefits you're either fast you're big you you, 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 you deliver you know um, basically guaranteed results and whatever it may be whatever your three biggest benefits are try to make it three or five um, don't make it even numbers two and four don't ask me why it's been split tested over and over and over again from people by people like me three and five work uh, much better than two or four and then of course this is your Mac's menu board now, I've just got four boxes there. It might be five, it might be six. So you might, uh, for example, as an accountant, you might have bookkeeping services, you might have tax minimization services, you might have uh, wealth creation services, you might have property development services, so on and so forth. So therefore, what you do is that I've just called this for the sake of a name, Macca's Menu Board, because when we go into McDonald's, we know we'll just look up uh, number uh, meal number three, thank you. And that's what this is all about. It gives people the opportunity on your homepage just quickly you know, pick what they want. And uh, of course, uh, it just depends on your business how many of these options you might give them. It might be three, it might be four, it might be six, it might be eight, okay? Uh, and then last but not least, video testimonials. Now, because I've sketched this just before we've done this video, I didn't put a headline on that, but really here it would say something like, just don't take our word for it. Look what these, you know, clients have got to say about our products or services. And then you'd have two or three or four, whatever it might be, video testimonials there. Um, they don't have to be individual testimonials. It can be one video box where they can, you know, basically click that and, uh, and, and have a montage of two or three people, one after the other, saying nice things. It's entirely up to you. But can you see there, this is a direct response driven website. And this is quite the opposite from an information-based website. Look forward to seeing you uh, at the next module, which is all about how to run events.